Hi guys, Light here and today I'll be showing you my opinion of the 30 best Mac apps for 2016. So these things are arranged in alphabetical order, free and paid. So first on the list we have Amphetamine. So Amphetamine is similar to Caffeine except that Caffeine hasn't been updated in a while now. So this is actually the one that I am using. So Amphetamine keeps your Mac awake for free. So you can download this free on the App Store and here is a sample of it working on my Mac. The second application is called App Cleaner, so you could download this for free. So App Cleaner is an application that helps you to completely uninstall unwanted applications on your Mac. So you can go ahead and launch that thing and drag the application that you want to uninstall and App Cleaner would take all the files that are related to that application and completely delete it. The next application is called Bartender 2. So Bartender 2 helps in keeping your Mac menu bar organized so as you can see right here so here's a sample of it being deployed so here you have the icons on my menu bar on the bartender bar you can have this for $15 or you could try it for four weeks for free the next application is called battery monitor so battery monitor helps in keeping an eye on your max battery so here you could monitor the current battery capacity of your Mac the current charge level of your Mac and the number of cycles that your battery has done. Also that this application warns you when you have a low battery or you have your battery fully charged. Next application is called Clean My Mac 3. So this is an application that allows you to scan your whole Mac to clean the junk files on your Mac such as some system junk, iPhoto junk, mail attachment, iTunes files, or even empty your trash bin and identify some odd large files. One thing that I love about this is the installer option, where similar to App Cleaner, it completely removes the application that you don't like. So you could go ahead and select the application you want to uninstall and uninstall the app. Also with this thing, you can save gigabytes for your Mac. Next application is called Control Air. Well, from the name Control Air, it allows you to control your Mac through the air. Well, specifically talking that you need to pause, play, skip, or even increase the volumes of your Mac by using the camera of the Mac. Next application is called Evernote. So Evernote is a note-taking application. Well, this is actually one of my favorites because Every time that I need to take down notes, list down my ideas, put photos, make to-do lists, well, this is the best app for it. So here's a sample of Evernote on my Mac. I usually use this when I'm making some YouTube notes. Next application is called Flux. So Flux is kind of like the application that allows you to change your display into a warmer tone. So think of it as like Night Shift for the Mac. So here is a sample of Flux working with my Mac, changing it into a warmer display tone. Next application is Final Cut Pro. So Final Cut Pro is a video editing software that can be used in making many things. You could do a lot of animation, you could do, well, you could do almost a lot of stuff with Final Cut Pro. I usually use Final Cut Pro in my video editing for any type of use that I want to use it. Next application is Mozilla Firefox. So Firefox is known by its performance, privacy, and to some web developers for its add-on for Firebug. Next application is Google Chrome. So Google Chrome is Google's browser. So with Google Chrome, you can do a lot of things now. Because Google keeps improving it, Google Chrome can do a lot of things, especially when it is with its extensions. Next application is Google Drive. So Google Drive is a cloud-based service that allows you to link all of your files from your tablet, your phone, and your computer. So it is a safe place for all of your files and you can store almost any file up to 15 gigabytes. So here is a sample of Google Drive on my Mac. So as of now, it doesn't really have anything inside because I'm just starting to migrate all of my OneDrive files to Google Drive. But Google Drive is actually better than OneDrive because in the Mac menu, you can already have the option to share the file. 
Next application on the list is Hidden Me Free. So, Hidden Me Free allows you to hide your desktop icons with a single click. So, here is a sample of Hidden Me. Here, I'll show the desktop icons. And now, I'll hide it. So, if you're like me that likes to keep the desktop clean while presenting, this is the app for you. HitFilm Express allows you to create cool animations such as the one that you are seeing right now. So this thing is actually free and you can use this as an alternative for Final Cut Pro. So here is a sample of the HitFilm Express environment. So here we have the menu and let us just create a new project. And here we go. Next application is iWork, which is Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. So in iWork, you have your applications such as Pages, which is like Microsoft Word, Numbers, which is like Excel, and Keynote, which is like PowerPoint. So here's a sample of Keynote, Pages, and Numbers. LibreOffice is a free office suite that is popular in Linux software, but you can also get this thing on Mac for free. If you don't want to buy some office applications next application is office 2016 which is word powerpoint and excel so microsoft office is actually the most popular office suite for productivity because it's popular <laughs> anyway uh this is actually paid yearly and with that you get powerpoint excel and word next application is onedrive the one place for everything in your life. So OneDrive is actually what I'm using to link my Windows PC, my Windows Phone to my Mac and iOS device. So OneDrive is similar to Google Drive except that they made a change in which the 15GB free storage is reduced to 5GB and they are also withdrawing the free 15GB additional when you get the camera roll bonus. So here is OneDrive on my Mac. Here you could access your downloads, documents, music, or any file that you have. Next application is Smart Converter. So Smart Converter is a smart and simple converter that you could easily use when you want to convert a video. So here's a sample of Smart Converter. You just need to drag here a video format that you want to convert. So for instance, we'll drag this one. And you could just select here whatever format that you want it to be converted to. You could convert this into a wide range of formats. Next app on the list is Spotify. So Spotify is a free streaming service that you can get with occasional ads. But if you purchase a premium version, you could have it offline and you could have no ads. So here is a sample of Spotify on the Mac. You could have your playlist and whatever you do. The next application is the Archiver. So the Archiver allows you to extract archive formats. Well, a lot of archive formats. So here are some samples of those formats. And here is a sample of it extracting. And as you can see, it is fast. Next app is VirtualBox. So VirtualBox is a free virtualization software that allows you to run any operating system on your Mac without having to boot up. Next app on the list is VLC Media Player. So VLC Media Player is a player for Mac that allows you to play a wide range of video formats. So even though that VLC has this simple design, it makes up for its performance and capability. So that is VLC and it is a must for your Mac. Next application is VMware Fusion. So VMware Fusion allows you to run any operating system on your Mac without having to shut down and boot up to another operating system. So it is the best way to run any guest operating system on your Mac. So if you want to run like Windows on your Mac, you can have it side by side. So like here I am running Windows 10 and on the other side, I'm running Mac. So I have Windows here and I have Mac here. And I'm going to Windows, I'm going back to Mac and Windows to Mac. 
Next on the list is Wonderlist. So Wonderlist is a great to do list or reminders list or whatever you call it. So Wonderlist is good because you could attach some files, create notes, create due dates or whatever you need to do. It is a great app for keeping your objectives. So here's Wonderlist. The last app is Yam Display. So Yam Display allows you to turn your ordinary iOS device such as your iPhone or your iPad or whatever iOS device that you have and turn it into an external display as you can see right here. So this boosts your productivity and well you can just do a lot of stuff with just multiple screens. So you can have your ordinary iOS screen to be now your Mac screen. So that was my 30 best apps for Mac this 2016. If you have any other applications that you think is good, please leave them down in the comments and I will check them out. So as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.